Hi everybody, this is Arkady Frechbit. I'm a New York City personal injury trial attorney. And today I wanted to do a cautionary video based on a consultation with one of my clients. And it was actually a YouTube viewer. So this um, young man texted me and I had a consultation with him and he was talking about the fact that he was involved in a car crash. It was not his fault. And the insurance policy for the defendant was high. It was actually half a million dollars. And he said it might be more beyond that, but he just doesn't know, right? There might be that umbrella or excess, supplemental or concurrent. So there might be more beyond that, but his lawyer doesn't even want to find out and hasn't told him. Furthermore, the incident happened quite a while ago and the lawyer has not even filed a lawsuit. And the way he got the lawyer was because he was going to a chiropractor or a physical therapy office and they told him, hey, you have to go to this lawyer. Well, that's like a big red flag right there, right? Because isn't this freedom of choice? We live in the United States of America. You should be able to choose your lawyer. If a doctor or a medical office is telling you, hey, you have to go to this particular lawyer, that's a big no-no, that's a big red flag. It usually means that that lawyer is paying that medical office, right, for the referral or the medical office steers the clients to a specific lawyer, the lawyer pays thousands and thousands of dollars to that medical office. You know, the lawyer gets rich because they have your case, the doctor gets rich because they get paid for treating you and they also get paid by this lawyer, you see, but you're the one who gets screwed because the lawyers that do this are like the bottom of the barrel. They don't go to court, they don't file lawsuits, and they get a lot of volume. They get thousands and thousands of cases. They pick up the phone, it's called dialing for dollars. Whatever the insurance company gives them, they take it, and that's it, right? For them, it's good, they make money. But, and he, that's what he was saying. He was saying, look, I had surgery, I have the serious case, and the lawyer's telling me, maybe on a good day, I'll get like 50 or 80,000. But wait a minute. If you were to really examine this case, there's 500,000 in insurance. The person that hit him, I believe it was like a professional, right? Like, uh, and, and there's such a good chance with, you know, a homeowner, a professional, there's such a good chance. And I know the insurance carrier, and based on all the things he told me, it was like 99% chance in my mind that there's umbrella and there's excess. So you have 500, you probably have maybe one or 2 million beyond that. Why wouldn't you file a lawsuit? Why wouldn't you go for the 500? Why would you tell somebody it's worth 80? And then I also learned that the lawyer was trying to charge him all these fees for handling the personal injury protection. Now in New York, we have a law. So it's so simple. It's like if you get into a car crash in New York, the car that you're sitting in has insurance. That insurance company is gonna pay for all your medical care. And it's just the law in New York. There's nothing that a lawyer should do about that. I mean, maybe like, you know, fill out a no fault form. It takes literally a paralegal could do it in five minutes. We never charge for that. But these lawyers that, you know, get recommended by these medical clinics are charging like 500 to thousand dollars for that, which should not be a charge. So essentially what these lawyers are doing is they are milking the system. They are stealing from personal injury victims. They're trying to get, you know, as much money as they can by getting illegal cases from this medical clinic, then by charging injury victims illegal fees, like these no-fault fees, these PIP fees, and by probably charging exorbitant um, expenses that they shouldn't be charging. And one of the other tricks they do is that they're paying, right? The lawyer is paying the medical center for the case, but the lawyer will then charge the client as a narrative fee, right? So they're making believe that the doctor is preparing a narrative and um, you know they're paying like a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars for this narrative report. Meanwhile, these are these are just physical therapists. You know, you could just call them up; they'll give you the medical records for free for seventy-five cents a page, whatever, probably for free. There's no reason to be paying thousands of dollars for a narrative. So it's really like pouring sand on an open wound because number one, you know, these lawyers are unethically paying these doctors or these clinics for cases. And number two, then the doctors are going, I mean, then the lawyers are going out and they're charging the client the fee that they pay, right, to get their case. It's like in, in, insane. And then on, on top of everything, they're also sending clients to these funding companies to get these lawsuit loans. 
And, you know, we sometimes have to deal with funding companies too, but there are ethical funding companies that'll, you know, that'll cap or put a limit to the funding. So if you borrow, let's say 5,000, the most you ever have to pay back is 10 or 15. But what this guy did is he sends the client to some funding company that's literally in a UPS store, right? It's not even an office. It's like a UPS store somewhere in, you know, in a strip mall in like another state. And he t- and, the, and the and the interest is just keeps running and running. So in like two three years, that five thousand is going to be like twenty seven thousand. And if the case has to be litigated, or you know, if there's an appeal on the case, you're talking about that five thousand could turn into fifty. And it's just it just. But there are other companies that are going to cap, meaning like the five would be ten or say twelve, and that's it, never more than twelve. So why would you do all these things? Exact. They're doing everything to hurt the client, nothing to help the client. And, you know, I spoke to this young man, you know, at length, we had a nice consultation and, you know, I think he's going to decide maybe to come over and let me help him because he would actually be saving so much money, so many fees, and he would be getting much more because I'm not going to settle the case for 50 or 80. I'll take it to court, take it to trial. If there's half a million with like, say, 2 million excess, you know, based on his surgery, based on the need for future care, the case could be a million dollar case. So I hope this was helpful. I just don't want anybody to be victimized. It's really sad that this is even happening. Really, you know, the police and the bar association should really, you know, crack crack down on this kind of stuff. But unfortunately, it's happening. But the more you know, the more educated you are, you could avoid this kind of scam. And it really is like a mafia, right? Because what are they doing? They're putting you in there and then they're you know, they're paying for your case and then they're charging you because they paid a a bribe to get your case. They're charging you for it. I mean, it's like, it's like mind blowing, Uh, you know, but you have to be careful. And, um, you know, I'm here to help serious injury victims and families and to prevent any of this kind of nonsense. Okay, everyone, please like and subscribe to our channel. Text me if you need a consultation, 347-566-9595. And um, if you have any questions or comments, just drop it below. We respond to all the comments and we try to help as many people as we can. Okay. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.